Welcome, everyone. Today, we delve into an exceptional book titled Your Brain is Playing Tricks on You by Albert Malkaber. A clinical psychologist and cognitive neuroscientist, Malkaber has dedicated his life to understanding the human mind. In this compelling piece, he beautifully navigates the labyrinth of our minds, revealing how our brains deceive us on a daily basis. Malkaber's ability to translate complex cognitive concepts into easily understandable ideas is astounding. From cognitive biases to misconceptions about our thoughts and behaviors, he guides us through a journey of introspection and realization. Key point one, perception. Our first stop is perception. In the book, Malkaber outlines that our perception of reality is not an accurate depiction of the world, but rather a construction of our brain. Perception, he argues, is not purely passive. Instead, it's a dynamic process, constantly shaped and influenced by our expectations, past experiences, and cultural backgrounds. This is a profound and counterintuitive concept. It underlines that the way we see, feel, or experience the world is not a direct feed from our senses into our brain. Rather, our brain uses the sensory data to predict and make sense of the world. The understanding of the world we perceive is based on our brain's best guess, relying heavily on our past encounters and learned information. Key point two, memory. The second key point is memory. The author asserts that our memories aren't fixed and reliable records of our past, as we commonly believe. Instead, they're prone to alteration and can be modified by many factors, including our current emotions, social pressure, and even suggestive questioning. Malkaber emphasizes that every time we recall a memory, we are essentially reconstructing it, and during this process, our brains may add, omit, or distort details. The implication here is vast, affecting everything from eyewitness testimonies to how we view our personal histories. Recognizing the fallibility of memory is a step towards a more nuanced understanding of our human experience. Key point three, emotions. Moving on to emotions, Malkaber challenges the conventional understanding of emotions as purely reactive responses. He explains that our brains generate our emotional responses based on interpretations and predictions about our environment, rather than mere reactions to stimuli. In this context, emotions are seen as an integral part of how we perceive and interact with the world, rather than a byproduct of those interactions. This perspective allows us to understand our emotional responses better and gain insights into managing our emotional well-being. Key point four, beliefs. Our fourth point is beliefs. According to Malkaber, our beliefs aren't just intellectual concepts that we consciously choose to accept or reject. Rather, they are deeply intertwined with our identities and can impact our perception and interpretation of reality. Beliefs can affect how we perceive information, interpret events, and even recall memories. This understanding can lead us to question our rigid belief systems and embrace cognitive flexibility. By acknowledging the power of beliefs, we can work towards more constructive dialogues and solutions in personal relationships, politics, and society at large. Key point five, decisions. Next, we examine decisions. The author invites us to reconsider our belief in rational decision-making. He suggests, that our decisions are often influenced by hidden biases, unconscious processes, and emotional states, even when we think we are being entirely logical. This demystification of decision-making helps us understand the gaps between our intentions and actions. It reinforces the importance of introspection and self-awareness in our decision-making processes. This insight can foster more informed decisions, mindful of potential biases and influences. Key point six, fear. The sixth key point is fear. Malkaber discusses how our brains process and respond to fear, emphasizing the essential role of fear in our survival, but also pointing out how it can be misdirected in our modern world. Understanding the brain's mechanisms in dealing with fear can provide us with tools to better manage our fears and anxieties. It can also highlight how fears can be manipulated, leading to undue stress or harmful behaviors. Key point seven, self. Our next stop is self. In the book, 
The author presents the notion of self as a constantly evolving narrative created by our brains. Our sense of self, he suggests, is less a concrete, unchanging entity and more a fluid, adaptive process shaped by our experiences, interactions, and even the language we use. This perspective encourages us to embrace change and growth as part of our identities. It also underlines the importance of mental health and cognitive flexibility in maintaining a healthy sense of self. Key point eight, others. The eighth key point is others. Malkaber delves into the complex mechanisms that our brains use to understand and interact with other people. He discusses empathy, theory of mind, and the role of social cognition in our daily lives. This insight can foster better relationships by highlighting the need for empathetic and nuanced understanding of others. It also touches on the importance of social connections and collaborations for our survival and well-being. Key point nine, illusions. Coming up next is illusions. Malkaber speaks about the various cognitive illusions our brains fall for, illustrating the mismatch between our perception and reality. He discusses examples like optical illusions, false memories, and the placebo effect to demonstrate this point. Understanding these illusions can aid us in recognizing the limitations of our cognitive abilities. It helps us remain humble and open to the idea that our subjective experiences and realities may not always align with objective truth. Key point 10, neuroplasticity. Finally, we touch on neuroplasticity. The author explores the brain's capacity to change and adapt throughout a person's life, emphasizing our potential for growth and transformation at any age. This understanding encourages the belief in personal growth and lifelong learning. It shows that our brains are not fixed entities and we are capable of change, learning, and adaptation, no matter our age. In conclusion, Albert Malkaber's Your Brain is Playing Tricks on You unravels the intricate workings of our minds, illustrating how our brains continually shape and sometimes distort our reality. The beauty of this book lies in its empowering message. Understanding the tricks our brains play on us can enable us to live more consciously, question our assumptions, and cultivate a more nuanced understanding of ourselves and others. By highlighting the malleability and adaptability of our brains, Malkaber also emphasizes our potential for growth and transformation. He encourages us to remain curious, open-minded, and compassionate, for our perceptions and beliefs are not definitive truths, but rather our brain's best guesses. And with that, we wrap up our exploration of Your Brain is Playing Tricks on You by Albert Malkaber. As we part, let's carry the insights from this extraordinary piece and remind ourselves to be mindful of our brain's tricks and potentials. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep questioning.